Hey there, Severin Lavenstein here with you on the beach in Hermosa, where it's a little chilly for beach weather, but that didn't stop the USA men's and women's beach teams from getting in a training session. Thursday marked the practical portion of USA Volleyball's coaching development series in collaboration with the USOPC. After spending the previous day in the classroom, coaches applied their methods out in the sand with their teams. It was a welcome day to train for Kristen Nuss and Taryn Cloth, who are soon heading out to compete in Qatar. We have taken away a lot of different aspects of playing other teams and watching film and talking with our coach and then um, going back into practice and fine tuning those little details. So I think that's what we've been working towards in order to make those changes. It's a, it's a point here and there. Starting out playing in the final, so it really is the top team. So every single point you have to be locked in and just, again, kind of using that word, fight for every point. Kelly Chang and Sarah Hughes will also be back in competition this week. After a hiatus, the duo were back together, and they made full use of the coaching notes and drills. Sarah says they are just focusing on the little things ahead of their trip to Doha. It's like little transition sets, um, some different, you know, working on passing, getting used to the new ball. Um, but for the most part, our mentality is just to compete and to win, and I think we're bringing that into practice, and that's going to correlate. As the event grows closer, the training ramps up, Chang says that the switch has been flipped to competition mode. I think our first few weeks of training, it was being a little bit nitpicky on you know different skills, whether that be passing, setting, serving, and now, yeah, full in on competition mode. When we're on the court, we're competing, we're trying to win, um, which is a very different mindset shift. One, two, three. USA! Competitions in the Middle East are slated to begin on January 26th.